Okay. Incident in Grove Lake. Is it real or is it fake? Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Okay. Oh. Restricted area. No trespassing beyond this point. Warning. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. What is this area? 51? Are we in area 51? Oh, this looks weird. Why is there just a ladder? Cam 3, front gate. Okay, so there's a car coming up. Oh, there's a car leaving. Okay. Good to know? I... Dot, dot, dot. Initializing scan. Arrow, arrow, connecting to server. I'm not saying those numbers. Okay, cool. Triangulating target position, connecting to live footage. Connecting to live audio. Is this the same car? What is this, a fucking fax machine? Accessing audio. Target. Appreciate you taking my call. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Heh. <laughs> Not as smart as they think it has four, huh? Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure, let's make it a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's see the diner on redacted. Works for me. I'll bring what I found. Good. I'll see you soon. Remember what I have risked for this. I remember. Something funky is going on here. So this dude stole document. Oh, somewhere north of Nevada. September 9th, 1997. Ooh, going way back. Oh. Oh, this is weird looking. Very old school, very pixely. I like it. It's very quaint. The Ram. Tannies. Tannies! <laughs> well, this is cool. I like it so far. I like the graphics. This is a diner. Yet another game where it's literally just called Diner. We just played a game where we... This one's not empty, though. Breakfast. Talk to Stranger. Hello, Stranger. Are you my dude? Thank you for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much getting here. They're following me. I don't have much time. Please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Oh, so I'm the one that's receiving the information. And these guys are watching. So they know. <laughs> September 10th, 1997. Oh, I'm back at home. I can't really hear. Pick up tape. Okay, I got the tape. Put it in. Put it in, put it in. Watch tape. VHS, man. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident number 17, example encounter type F. 
Copying or distribution of this tape is based on classification as content reserved in remembrance of TSCSI clearance. The following took place August 19, 21, 1971, or 1997, Grove Lake. Tape was discovered and handed to local authorities. Please contact your facility supervisor at conclusion of this tape as outlined in Section 4B, Paragraph, blah, blah, blah. Whoa! Oh, I'm playing it! Cool! Everything's so weird and lopsided. I'm assuming that's because we're watching this through a VHS. And that's just the way that VHS is, apparently. I don't think a lot of people were around for VHS, because this is not how VHS actually looked. Like, I understand the, the, the quality wasn't great, but it was not this staticky. Unless they were filming on something effed up. Which, in that case, I mean, it could very well be. But most most horror VHS games end up, like, going super staticky with everything. And that's just not how I remember VHS tapes going. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? There's something flying over there. I don't know if you saw that, but I it was up in the corner. Okay. So we're... What is this? Lake. Okay, so we're going to a lake. Sorry, I hit the microphone. My nose itches. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Fucking birds. Ugh. Why is everything so topsy turvy? Oh, this is a camp place. They were lost. Something, something, something. Okay, so campsite. And then... Alien ship? Question mark? I mean... We saw something in the corner. It was like flying over the dude's campsite. I'm assuming we're gonna come up... Please turn supplied hand plate. Uh, we will now review four types of encounters. Oh. The first kind. Uh, unusual sighting of identified uh, flying objects seemingly less than 500 feet away. It's shown appreciable angular extension in considerable detail. Okay. Second kind. A UFO. Oh. Such as interference, animal reactions, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise effective vegetation, or a chemical trace. That looks like... I don't know what that is. Okay, the third kind. UFO... Oh, alien boy! In which an animated entity is present. This includes humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. Hello? Go? Okay, thank you. What is the fourth kind? A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Oh. That's effed up. Okay. So... What did we get into? Are we CE4 or CE3? The following is an example of a CE2. Okay. Please identify your workbook or... It goes so fast. I'm sorry. 
Okay, so this is a CE2 encounter. So we're going to see something up in the sky. Or there might be chemical traces or something. Oh! Strange. Oh, very strange. Huh. Oh. Okay, it just is gone. Weird. This is really cool. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, it said this was an example of a second kind. Are we about to have a third kind? Oh, no, we're about to have a fourth kind. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I can't see. Hold on, I want to see. Oh, my God. Okay. I thought this was supposed to be an encounter of a second kind. This is seeming more and more like a fourth kind. Why is there a cabin out here? Oh. Okay. What the hell? That's a fourth kind. heck are we? Are we inside the ship? Oh, this is funky. Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like that human didn't really have a great time coming through here. Or whatever that was. Might not even be a human. Might be from a different world. Who knows? No, those definitely look like humans. Ugh. Is that what's gonna happen to this dude? Hold on, I wanna see this. Ugh. Alright. I can't run or anything. So if something comes after us, we're kinda screwed. Why? Why with the noise? Oh. Oh, I'm being dragged. What the hell were they doing? Okay, so this fell from the ship then. <clears throat> Whoa. The tape is now concluded. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to archive section four.
Please now contact your facility supervisor for a psychoanalyst and debrief. You will be signing a completing form, blah, 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 upon completion. Your discussion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Please eject tape now. Ooh. Alrighty then. This must be outside the apartment? And of course it's raining. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh, they're coming. Grab the tape! Grab the tape and run! Hide! Hide somewhere! Hide! Look at documents. Huh. Oh! Ho oh, ho ho. I knew that was coming. On September 11th, talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call from a man claimed to have worked in Area 51. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them. And there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now, Art. But they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I started getting Whoa. Created by Damn Great. Wow, that was really good. Holy crap. That was awesome. I wouldn't necessarily call it a horror game. It's more of like a... I don't even know what to call it. But it was really great. Holy crap. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, it's, it, I don't know. The whole alien thing. I, I, I don't really weigh in on that kind of stuff. Because, I mean... Who believes in what? What's, what's real? What's fake? I, I don't fucking know. It's, I'm... Just one person in a big world. That's it. So uh, this was this was really really cool, and a and a great way to look at things uh, from from somebody else's perspective. 
that was uh i i like how it went from uh the narrative of one guy to another and i i don't understand how the other guy didn't release any of the information before he i i feel like he should have been able to release the information somehow but apparently the government got to him first so yeah then there was this radio show host thing which obviously not a lot of people would probably really play anything into i i would get the feeling that a lot of people would would be like oh this guy's crazy he's just talking he's just talking crap he's he's out of his mind or something like that that's that's what I feel like would probably end up happening. But either way, thank you guys so much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to play the game for yourself, it's down in the description below. You can go ahead and check out the, uh, the game dev and give them some love. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.